Foggy Foggy one here. Today I'm out here with uh, Marcus. Marcus is on his boat. Uh, he's also known as City Boxer. And he's gonna help me try to find some crabs today. And we're gonna go locate some rockfish, maybe some bait. Hopefully get on some link cod or something big. All right, we'll let you know how it goes. We're looking about five, six foot swell today. So uh, yeah, hopefully the wind will stay down and things will be mellow. All right. Let's hope he's wrong, but Marcus said he just saw a boat zoom right off from this area right before we showed up. So hopefully they didn't take the, empty, just to empty out my pot. Okay. I sure hope they didn't get it. That'd suck if I was just an hour or okay. a few minutes too short. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. When I pull in the line, just go ahead and... Okay, feed it over here. Yeah, I'll feed it to you, okay? Are you, you're not going to drop it back, are you? Uh, probably not. Okay, ready? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's going that way. Okay. See, shit helps a lot, you know? It's a cheap little thing, but it works. That goes right through the uni knot, too. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't even have to do anything. I'm just pulling. <laughs> But it, it does struggle though when you have a uh, heavy one. Heavy pot, yeah. This should be getting close. Yeah. Let's go try to find some rockfish. Alright. Um Yeah, let's just zoom in towards the sand here and see if we can find some bait. If not, I'm just gonna fish uh shrimp flies. Just try to get some more carcasses. I got some anchovies too. I might put on a halibut rig and try to get a something bigger. Cool. I'll follow you. All right, cool. All right. Nothing in the crab pot again. I think somebody's making a living out of checking people's crab pots. Right, 
For bait? No, fish and bait. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll follow you. One smelt. All right. Yeah, that's what this weekend was. Tying shrimp flies. All right, so the the plan was to come out here and try my shrimp flies, but I actually have bait today. I got three jack smelt, and I found them in deep water too. I followed Marcus out to. Uh, one of his spots and we found a, I found a real tight group of jack smelt sitting in about a hundred feet of water right off the edge of the reef. So we're going to put the shrimp fly away for a little while and uh, we're going to use the bait that we got. And uh, if it's not producing right away, I might go for the smaller rockfish and just put on the shrimp fly. But um, haven't got those ling cod in a while, looking for a big fish. So live bait's usually the ticket. Let's see. The secret. Yeah. The little net. All right, well, just gonna use my hand, I guess. That wasn't too hard. All right, so we got the halibut rig on. I like using halibut rig for, uh, for link cod. I also use a double fixed uh, treble on a slider. However, seems like I get snagged a little bit more often. All right, so we're just doing the small hook straight up through his nose bone here. And then we're gonna dig the, the back hook just in, in a little bit. try my shrimp flies out or the for the for, for the first time ever I'm gonna try my shrimp flies out I might trade them out for different ones I put the bottom hook on the on the wrong one so normally I put the big hook on bottom small hook on top but we're reversed this time all right I'm gonna bait these up with a little bit of shrimp drop them down and see what we can do and these shrimp flies uh, once again uh, I was inspired by another YouTuber, uh, a younger younger kid, I think his name is Aaron Candigan. He's got a video on how to tie your own sabikis. Just a little bit harder than this. But um, some real good info. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about as well. Go check him out. Okay, so shrimp up, drop down. Here's our pre-cut squid strips. I like circle hooks. So um, the bottom one here is a two-aught octopus circle hook. And the top one is a four-aught. Same thing, octopus circle hook. All right, let's see. Sure, sure, that looks nice. Add a little color, all right. All right, dropping down. We just found out which direction the drift was and we set ourselves on the opposite side of it so we should drift straight across this reef. First fish on the shrimp fly. 
pretty sure that's less than five minutes. Oh, yeah. Felt like it's getting bigger once it gets to the top. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Forgot to spool it back. Well, it's not the smallest one. But that's about what we've been getting lately. Is about this size right here. And we're keeping them all. We need the rockfish bait. Or we need the crab bait. All right, so bonk and bleed. Right, first fish on a shrimp fly. 120 feet. Let's get some more. We got another little one here. Making crab bait. I think it's still on. We'll see. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh my goodness. You know what? That one. I think we're going to throw this one back. All right, we're trying to find some big rocks. I'm going towards where I caught my first ling cod. Be just south of four mile. Or, uh, just east of four mile, should I say. Yes. Deck shoes. Early Christmas present from the sweetie. Thank you. Wish you were here with me. Reeling in the big fish. I think it's still on. Hey! Wow. That did not feel that big. But look at that, that's a good canary right there. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh man, it just puked all over my hat. Thanks a lot for that. All right. Good guy, heck yeah. That's the biggest, uh, biggest rockfish I've seen in a while. It used to be medium size. Now he's big, today he's big. <laughs> All right, this one feels like it might be a little. Yeah! There we go. And they're getting bigger. That might be the biggest canary I've ever got. Look at that right there. Oh, yeah. Hand tied shrimp fly. Doing its job. size canary? Yeah. Well, I got a hitchhiker, but I lost You keeping those? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check my pod. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna that. All right, we're resetting drift. Oh. Canary day! I'm all by myself today. And I'm pretty sure that's my limit. You're only allowed three canaries. Yep. All right, so just got our very last canary. The limit in uh, this area. I'm not sure if it's all of California or not, but I just looked it up. The limit is three canary rockfish. We cannot keep more than three, so we're gonna have to throw back anything else that we get that's a canary. Um, we got that one little brown in there. So the total is four fish. We got six left for our limit. Once we get up to eight fish, I'm going back to Lane Cod and we're just gonna try to go for the big fish at the end of the day, if we get to that point. And if not, I still might throw it down just for the hell of it. Waiting for that big fish. Yeah.
Just in case. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, I knew it. It was swimming up. Yeah, it's a black. Good size black, too. Not bad for a black. Did not feel the hit at all. All I felt was my, the weight disappear. So in that case, the fish might be just swimming straight up towards you. So what I did was just reel, 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 reel until I felt it load up. All right, it's not a canary. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's just a little guy. Little baby gopher. Not part of my limit. All right, so it's 1.30. I think we got six or seven rockfish in the boat right now. Good sized ones too. The only small one I got is the very first one I kept. Um, we limited out on canaries. Got one black, uh, one gopher. All right, so we're gonna head up the coast now. I'm sorry, we're gonna head down the coast now, back towards the harbor, and uh, hit some more rocky spots. Boat's leaking again. So I just feel a little bit better closer to harbor, especially at two o'clock. I guess it's 1.30, but uh, yeah, this time of day, the wind typically picks up. However, Right now it seems nicer than we came out, so I've noticed that in the winter time. The I've only, you know, I've noticed that in the winter time, but this is only my second winter fishing, so who knows what it, the real story is. All right, let's see how we can do. My batteries are dead we're still fishing it's about 2 15. i think i got seven rockfish in the boat just got canary four we gotta toss it back only allowed three this man they change colors fast i only bonked them about uh 10 seconds ago oh man wait is this a verm Ugh. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> there it is. Vermilion. That might be the biggest one today. Limits. Number 10. All right, we're going home. <laughs> right, if you enjoyed this video, comment, share, like, and subscribe. Till next time, people. <laughs>